before we were able to investigate further, we heard discomforting clicking sounds. It was too late when I realized that we had a terrible miscalculation. We were beset upon by a pack of monstrous arachnids. Oh, no. Welcome back, everybody, to you. Spooky October month. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. And this right here is our Curious Expedition run when none other than HP Lovecraft. Um, if you're enjoying the run so far, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. Um, if you haven't checked out the first episode, I definitely suggest you do so just because I give you an explanation how this run rolls. It's a lot more difficult, a lot more random, a lot more fun, I want to say. It's not like any other expedition we've done in the past. That's the reason why we have so many pages over here. But again, check out the first episode if you're a bit confused about everything happening over here on screen. Uh, for now, we returned that um, native, luckily enough, and we're going to get a reward for that. Let's see here. Full of anticipation, I hurried to the harbor there were still some arrangements to be made so i had one last pot of tea sir dyer <laughs> returned to the harbor eagerly awaiting news of his beloved he was overjoyed as he saw her on our boat shortly after the two fell into each other's arms and loving embrace the couple thanked me for their reunion before they happily moved on from the scene so we get a reward which is going to be 70 funds not bad we're up to 220 so we could definitely buy a lot of stuff here right now uh, I obtained new funds to reward our deeds. A merchant politely asked for my attention. He was asked for us to obtain a precious idol that could be found in a village in the area of our upcoming expedition. He promised worthwhile recompensance if we were able to return with it. Let's go ahead and accept, why not? He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. There were far more famous adventures preparing their boats right now, so I was not surprised to see little interest in the departure of our ship. Now, normally, uh, for the first run, we came in last place because I had to set everything up over here, right? That was on purpose. So right now, there's not too many people eager to join us, but at least there's one person over here. Now, the thing is... Since I'm going to be relying a lot on abominations, I don't think I want any humans in our party, although humans can be leveled up, but the abom abominations cannot. So... Uh, I think we're going to be using these people momentarily, and if the abominations want to eat them afterwards, they're just going to go ahead and get devoured, because I'm done protecting people. So I'm going to accept Sergeant Anthony Derrick, the soldier, for now. What I'm going to do here is in the ship, I will leave the the cube behind. And I still believe I have the Necronomicon equipped, right? We're done using that. So let me come over here to ship storage, put the Necronomicon away along with the metal cube. Um, so, we only have to use this when we're in different portal worlds, but I don't think we'll be doing that anymore because I think we're fine. We'll probably do it towards the end of the run, but for now we're good. Um, and you, if you mind, you just move over here, that's great. Okay, so now we close up, and we begin our expedition over here. Okay, it's a chasm right over here. Is the map over there? <gasps> what? Wait. No, 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 go back to expedition. This is kind of interesting. So the map's going to be curving down this side because of the huge chasm. Ah, it's very interesting. Okay. Oh, well, it is what it is. How are we supposed to get through here? Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> For a second, I was a little bit worried. Okay, so we have six exploration points over here. Let's go ahead and... You could die at any moment, Sergeant Anthony Derek, because I'm going to spawn an abomination. Actually, we'll spawn the abomination when we need him. For now, let's just roll with Star uh, Sergeant Anthony Derek, so we'll promote him once, twice, three times a lady. Now, I'm going to hold on to these three points for another person, perhaps. So, that's cool for now. Let's go ahead and start traveling abroad. Let me uh, mount Sir Ainsworth first, so we could get less um, traveling bonuses here, and travel abroad. Okay. Got ourselves a village already. This could be the thing that um the idol the idol could be here essentially. And what's over here? Tiger, seventy five percent chance of aggro. Mm, let's come through here first, huh? Enter village. Alrighty, we entered a native village. We encountered a tribe that looked like some form of religious and unity. As we arrived, the whole village were bowed before a mysterious looking idol. That's what we're looking for. I hope we would still be welcome as we tried not to interrupt the rites. So, a peculiar stone idol stood proudly in the heart of the village. The villagers observed us with caution. They were polite and offered us what they could. I recognized the language of this tribe and soon was able to communicate. Remember, we got the polyglot ability, so we can rest here without worrying about our standing. The problem is, the moment we decide to steal that idol, they'll probably go ahead and be like, Fuck you, we're gonna kill you. Now we want to rest here overnight, because I think that's what triggers the steal event. There it is. Now, the only problem is we have such a low chance of success over here. I guess if you fail it, they'll activate on your ass? Hmm. Let me sleep first. And you know what we're gonna do? 
just in case they aggro on me, I think we need an abomination with me. So let me go ahead and trigger an abomination. Oh, we just turned a British soldier into an abomination. That works out perfectly fine. Well, so much for leveling him up, huh? Um, so we're still overburdened, unfortunately. Mm, I guess we have to get off Sir Ainsworth. All right, enter village. Let's go ahead and rest in the village. As darkness fell into the natives, lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. An elderly couple asked me to settle an argument for them. They desired to know whether men and women were deemed equal. Sure, they're both equal. Everybody's loyalty was decreased. Why does that piss you guys off, huh? Why can't we all be equal? Anyway. No fitting dice. Oh, we can't steal it. We're gonna have to get into a fight. So remember, the only person that could steal it for us was the soldier, because he had the green die. But since we turned him into a monster, we can't really do it. So now we stole the idol. We're at negative three standing. And they're not attacking us, oddly enough. <laughs> well, I'm sure they'll start giving chase pretty soon, huh? Alrighty. Uh, we're overburdened by one, unfortunately. You know what? These mangles gotta go, then. Alrighty. We're good to go. So we have the stone idol for the quest back home, so we gotta hold on to that. Um, now I think we travel through... You know what? Let's use the... Where's it at? We have a tome for... Extended Vision. Look at that. Amazing, right? <laughs> so much fun. So we now have a lot of the map over here revealed to us. Tigers, we have gorillas up here. Not sure what's up here, <clears throat> but I'm really curious about checking it out. As I lose my voice as well, one second. Let's see if we can just go around first. I want to find out what's in there. Tiger Man, keep away. Don't have my abomination kill you, because I will. And we'll come over here. Examine Shrine. The structure showed some big cracks. If something bad happens over here, we teleport away. So that's the upside to our run. Enter Shrine, investigate the altar. We have a golden skull and another random... Hey, good. We might even use that right now. So I need to make room for this, unfortunately. Man. I don't know what to throw away for this. The tome pages um, don't take up any of your weight limit, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, item does not consume weight capacity. Um, you're just really carrying a little amount of stuff. You know what? Let's just grab it. Close up. Huge mountains erupted from the ground. That's not really a bad event. It's going to block us off here a little bit, but we can teleport around whenever we want to. Uh, let me go ahead and spawn another abomination so we can um, actually have more carrying capacity. There we go. Oh, look! The, um... The natives are actually after us because we stole the idol, as I mentioned. <laughs> ah, you suckers. Okay, so... You know what we did, though? Because we spawned the mountains from that event. They're actually blocked. Oh, no, they're not blocked off. They can come in through here. And we have a tiger in our way, too. Well, you know what? I'm not too scared of this tiger since we have two abominations, right? I say we mount Sir Ainsworth and we just go through here. This tiger wants to get crazy with me, then hey... Have added tiger. Oh, the tiger died from the mountains! <laughs> okay, so we have to worry about it then. But if this gorilla wants to get crazy, we'll get deal with him as well. Alrighty, so here's the problem when it comes to um, Lovecraft. Low sanity. Over here, I'm already losing my shit, huh? Let me have a whiskey just in case. Let's see if we can make it over here right now. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm using sanity items... Is that a de-exit already? It is. Okay, cool. The reason why I'm using sanity items is because for the Lovecraft run, you want to have more pages than I have right now. I just got really exhausted doing this over and over and over because, you know, I could be recording videos during that time. So I got exhausted, so I didn't really get up to the amount of pages that was suggested you should do so you have a good run. So that's the reason why I'm focusing a little bit on sanity items as well because of that. Um, alrighty. So we're at one sanity right now. We can't go back over here and rest. They've already pretty much have... Don't want us there anymore. What I think we can do is... What happens if I do Fertile Lands over here? I'm, I'm curious about this. Chasm, Fertile Lands. There we go. So I think what Fertile Lands does, it gets rid of the thick jungle and just gives you regular plains, if I'm right. So what I could do potentially here is just wait. Hmm. So for Fertile Lands, the jungle does stay behind. Okay. So this is more ideal for the desert, I would say. Alrighty, well, I'm just learning as we go here. So that didn't really work out as, I, as much as I wanted it to. Uh, the gorilla's actually really nearby. That could be a problem. Well, let's see. 
We have fire. Effortless movement. I could use some of these. We have 12 of them, after all. We're not sure what's down here. Natives are about to attack us, too. You know what? I actually want to get those natives over here. So let's actually use the effortless movement. And we'll come down... Actually, cancel that one. Come down on top of the hill. Because if the natives want to fight me, let them come at me because I have... Yeah, there they go. We have abominations after all. Oh, we got surprise attack, though. That could be a problem. Alright, we're fine. Okay, cool. So let's go over here and roll. Oh! Fire. Fierce Claw for 6 damage. That would be enough to almost bring you down. It's enough to kill one of the native scouts, though. Well, we also have a tentacle attack. Hold up. Let's use a tentacle attack first. That'll be 2 damage to everybody. And then we use that one to kill the native warrior right here. Okay. Now we have you guys left over. And this is going to be fangs. Bleeding as well. Mm, this is from my donkey, isn't it? No, no, it's from the dudes over here. Let's go ahead and roll again. Okay, let me use my gun for a quick shot. And we can hoof this guy to death. This guy's left, and that should be enough for the kill. Yeah! Okay, mangoes, blue mushrooms for viewing distance, and red mushrooms for healing abilities. Uh, could be useful. Didn't we take any damage? We took a little bit of damage. We could probably use that. Uh, let me just grab them for now. Close this up. Oh, we found ourselves a shipwreck. How about that? My abominations are bleeding, allegedly. Ah, yeah, they'll be fine. They're tough fellas. Plus, I gotta respawn a couple of more. Although, we only have five more pages of abominations, so we can't really be too free about it as well. Um, well, I could actually heal one right now with the red mushrooms, so we'll go ahead and cure up uh, this guy right here, I guess. And mangoes. Let's pop those right now. Let's go ahead and get, have the blue mushroom for some more viewing. Really terrible, considering we have the um, the tome for extended vision, which is a lot better. Um, let's go check out this shipwreck. Today we made a peculiar discovery. A decayed shipwreck laid in front of us. It remained a mystery to me how it could have ended in this place. The rotten planks looked like they could collapse at any moment. I attempted to read the name. Madinina. If that's a reference I'm missing, somebody let me know. Let's we'll search the area. I was confident we would find something valuable here. We spread out and searched the area. Oh, six nine. Wait a minute. This this feels like uh this feels like Lost now. Like you know in uh, in Lost the, the the television show, um there was a, a ship out in the island like in the middle of no water around it, and the entire premise of that ship wound up being to get some dynamite needed for something. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I watched it. I'm pretty sure the Manina might not be the name for that ship in Lost, but. At least the event, like, you know, a ship with dynamite does remind me of Lost anyway. Let's close off over here. We attracted some wildlife. We have a tiger over here, huh? You want to get crazy with me, tiger? Is that what you're saying? Huh? Well, I could get crazy with you if you really want to. Um, ooh, we have a problem here. We might be blocked off from this part of the world. Oh, no, we could go around here, it does seem. Let me use another extended vision one. Okay, there's definitely a lot more to this world. We have at least another location over there, and then this down here as well. Um, let me also use... Hold up. Waterfall Creation. Ah, oh, it's over there, though. I would like to go over there and get some rest, but man, it's going to be 83 for that trip, huh? That's a very, very long trip for sanity purposes. I could teleport there, but that's something I really want to do. I was hoping that that would spawn, like, right here. That would have been really easy for us. Let me do it again, actually. See what happens. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Waterfall creation. We have five of those. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me now, huh? You're doing this on purpose now, game. Spring creation. Knowing me is gonna spawn it way the fuck over there or something. Let's just do it. Spring creation. Oh, of course. Of course you would do it there. Let's do a... 41. Let me have a little bit of whiskey here. Just enough to get here, huh? Just enough. You guys are going to eat my boro, are you? You better not, I'm going to have another whiskey, because you guys are going to probably want to eat my boro afterwards. I'm going to walk over here. We'll check this out, and then we could probably even make it up to that spring and rest there, without causing too much of an issue. Alrighty. Elephant graveyard. Search the area. Aha! Okay, I want the elephant tusk. Now we have to get rid of something here pretty soon. Hmm. Or get off of the burrow, perhaps? Oh, good, a panther's next to us now. Jesus, we're not having any luck with that. 
Uh, 48 to make it up there. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Panterman. Panterman, Panterman. Do you want to get crazy with me, Panterman? Is that what you're saying? Because we can get crazy, buddy. Abominations, are you up to this? I think they're up to it. Plus, I got some dynamite just in case. Let's attack this panther. How much you got? 10? Oh, you're not a problem at all. I don't even need the dynamite. Let's just roll. Okay. Fierce claw. And that's about it, really. Aha! I would really love for us to have, like, a human that gets, like, um, sanity points based on killing stuff, because we'd be good. The only problem is the abominations have a tendency to eat the humans as well, so that's the only big problem there. Let's pick everything up. I know I can't carry it all here at the moment, but... What I would like to do... This is an option, too. I could use a, a homebound thing, take us back to the ship, drop stuff off, and then teleport back over there. Um, and we could also get our sanity back by resting over here, too. How many homebounds do we have? Five. Let's use homebound. It takes me back to the ship. Now we come over here and we access the ship storage, and I go ahead and I put... Um... Yeah, I'll put you guys in there. I'm not going to be trading with the villagers anytime soon. They hate my guts. I'm going to keep the meat just in case my dudes get crazy. I will trade you at the end of the thing. You as well. Idol statue as well. Jewels. This is what I love about the homebound thing. You can always come back and just dump stuff over here. Golden skull in there. And I don't think we need dynamite just yet. Or should I hold on to it just in case? Eh, just in case, I guess. Meat will go bad towards the end of the run, so... Eh. I'll just keep it now in case my dudes go crazy. And I'll hold on to the dynamite. We could carry two more things. I still have a couple more things I want to check out, though. So maybe we do put the dynamite away. Let's close up. And let's also rest overnight. Dead natives are asking us to go kill something. I've actually done this um, quest off camera. You wind up fighting a lot of spiders, if I'm correct. Let me accept the quest just in case. Location of the cave. Where's that at? Down here? Alright, guys. We've never done this before on camera, so we're going to do it today on camera. So... Um, I'm gonna do a random teleportation and hope for the best, I guess. What I should do is, I didn't want to do it this way, but you fight a couple of spiders if I'm right. So, I probably should at least have, like, two dynamite just in case. Alrighty. Now, do we randomly teleport or do we just do a, a selected teleportation? Well, we have effortless movement. How about we use effortless movement? Can I walk all the way over here? I can. We might get into some fights along the way with that gorilla. Let's do it, you know what? Let's use the effortless movement right now. And you see that? Zero cost to get all the way over here from our boat. Amazing. So I think we do that. Uh, I'm only hoping that... Oh, there's some natives again! Oh. We might run into those natives. Gorilla, don't, don't get crazy, please. Gorilla's chasing me. Natives, we ran into the natives as well. God damn it. Four of them now. Leave my abomination alone. Um, I was saving the dynamite for spider dudes, but now we have four guys over here. So you know what? Let's use one dynamite, and let's roll. Okay, we take damage from that as well, but they're almost now done. And we use a tentacle attack, and just one more needed. Okay. And we can also heal up with the mushrooms that they dropped, so that's cool. Close right here. Let's go ahead and... Everybody's hurt. As long as the wounds don't get infected anytime soon, we should be fine. Let's use this on Sir Ainsworth. Cause the I don't I can't spare to lose him. I could lose an abomination because we have the tomes for him anyway. So Sir Ainsworth's right there. He's cured up now. Let's leave. Um extended viewing distance. Uh, we could use that later, I guess. And Coca leaves. Oh, but the natives stop my movement. Oh, you jerk offs. Those jerks. That's what they did. They stopped my movement. Alrighty. Well, I have some coca leaves. We'll just basically get crazy on cocaine over here. I mean, I'm Lovecraft already, so I'm crazy as it is. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And here is the cave. Oh, we can make it to the cave, actually. We can make it to the cave from here. Hyena, if you don't get crazy, go ahead and get Franky, dude. You just jump. Wait a minute. Sir Ainsworth's a cannibal? Since when? <laughs> Since when does that happen? Cannibalistic burrow. How about that? Alright, here's the cave. Ready for this shit? Let's do it. We have a torch. 
Alrighty, we found the nest the native ghost had conveyed. Everything was rotten and covered in dust and webs with split bones scattered across the floor. Before we were able to investigate further, we heard discomforting clicking sounds. It was too late when I realized that we had a terrible miscalculation. We were beset upon by a pack of monstrous arachnids. Oh no! I am loving this run so much. We have the whole Lovecraft thing happening. This is for spooky October month. We have like now giant spiders. This is working out so swell. Um, okay. We have to use the dynamite on these guys. This is the reason why I brought two of them. So I'm gonna row here. We'll use the dynamite. We'll take some damage ourselves, but that's fine. We're almost about to leave this area, I wanna say. So let's go ahead and use the dynamite explosion. That's fine. Now they're down to four HP each. And if I'm correct, we use a couple of tentacle whips and we'll be fine. Um, what do you do? You and you are for lookout. Ah, I don't really need a lookout right now. That would be a kill for one of them. Let's kill one of them already. And that's only two damage, huh? Eh, Boro might as well do it. Let's roll. Quick shot, and they're all dead. Loot. Now, this is what happens when you kill this event. You get a pumpkin lantern. I kill these guys off camera. I don't know what this does, because after I killed them, I ran into some issues where I was stuck. So I kept on getting washed away by a shore, and I lost the pumpkin lantern. But it's a peculiar lantern made from a hollowed pumpkin. There is no rational explanation for its strong light source, but it seems very deplete. It seems to never deplete. So I'm not even sure what the hell that means. I mean, nighttime, I guess? You could use, maybe you could use it as a torch? I don't know. I'm gonna take it, obviously. Uh, spider legs. I wish we would have gotten some more because these actually trade for some pretty good money back home, but we only got six of them this time around. Let me take the meat for my cannibalistic dudes. We'll pop this. Let's close up. Alrighty. So that's good. Let's go ahead and drop our coca leaves now. Get a little bit insane in the membrane. We unlocked the exit, right? So whenever we get into trouble, we could always teleport right here and um, get out of here in case we're feeling like we're in trouble. Crocodile? I don't think I've ever fought a crocodile in this game before. Okay, um, more coca, more coca. How you doing there, Lovecraft? <laughs> I'm fine, man. I'm just fucking hopped out of my mind right now. Uh, we're one item overburdened. Huh? That's a problem. Uh, we could get a good one one meat, though. That's fine. Alright, so now we come down here to 11. Hyena, if you want to get froggy, go ahead and jump as well. I think he jumped. He definitely jumped. We're, we're actually quite hurt right now, I gotta be honest with you. Um, but these guys will be no problem. So, let's start off with hoofing. Do a quick shot over here. No, actually, let's roll. I'm looking for... Well, this is a kill right here, right? I prefer the tentacle ones, but whatever. That and that. He's dead. Uh, okay, we can't carry any more meat. Let me get the hyena pelt. Eh, it's only two and five. Not really worth it for the funds, but whatever. Uh, let's get rid of this mushroom, finally. Not that we need the vision, but I just want to get the spot emptied up. And let's see what's down over here. Examine. Items by the thing? Oh, nice. And horn flutes. Distracts wildlife. Okay, let's get rid of you for that. That makes sense to me. Now, we need to get into first place so we can start getting back into the race. So I think it's time for us to leave now. Uh, maybe we check this out and then we jump to the teleportation area? This would cost me 23 days. Days to arrive, 22. Okay. So, she's 22 days from getting first place. We will travel with 23 days to get over here. So, you know what? I think what we do is we travel over here, we uncover this, and then we use the teleportation over here. And, um, we escape and get first place. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So, I think we definitely check this one out for a couple more items, perhaps. And then we teleport to the exit and we're out of here. Because I need to get first place so we can get back into the race now. It's just a, a shaman HUD. Eh. Well, any trades at least? If I had some hyena pelts, this would have been pretty good. Um, mini puppets, uh, fears before going to sleep, drums, interesting sounds, hill creation, lake creation. I'd rather take the random teleportation if you don't mind. Can I give you some of the mountain ones? I can. Oh, straight up trades. Let me get the fire one and the hill one. I don't care about the mountain ones. There you go. That's actually pretty good. This guy gives you a lot for these pages, huh? Hmm. Do we need anything over here? Voodoo doll. We can't sell these to my knowledge. That's fine, we'll just do that. So now we deal. 
and we leave. Oh, you know what? Hold up. Let's clear the cannibalism off of our, our donkey. As for cleansing, barter. Just a mountain creation should be enough. There you go. There it is. No more cannibalistic burrow. And now we use our extended vi No, no. Where's it at? Excuse me. Targeted teleportation. Here. And we explore and we're out of here. First place, baby. Enter the pyramid. Never return. There you go. Speed bonus first. New fame 610. We'll still probably be trialing for a little bit here, but we'll see how we play out. Plus, we have a lot of stuff in our ship that we're bringing back, too. Remember that. Lone Survivor. Survive a little longer when all alone. Protector. Receives an additional defense die. And Black Market. You know what? Let's pick up the Black Market. Because we have a lot of stuff for money right now, so you could definitely buy some cool stuff. Alrighty. Here we go. Now we're pulling in a bit closer. We're very close to first place, honestly. 112, 112 isn't really too much. Alright, so now here we make a lot of money from these spider legs, so we sell, 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 sell. We sell those as well. We have some toots. We could go ahead and just sell those. Uh, Panther, sell that. 20 fame or 60 funds. We're over here to 295. Idol statue we need for the quest, and golden skull we'll get for fame. Let's do gift for fame now. We keep that for the quest, and then we gift this for more fame. And just like that, we're already nipping at second place in very shortly first place continue. Alright guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. I will catch you next time.